public service announcement. Stop spending fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars on pressure washing equipment if you're just starting out. Why would you even think of something like that? Yeah, you can get credit, even if it's thirty thousand, twenty thousand. Why do that to yourself if you're just starting out? Now, if you get and if you're if you're getting loans or something, and somebody's investing with you, and you have a good website that's producing leads that you can get the work to complete the jobs to get the money with that thirty thousand forty thousand fifty thousand dollar rig then by all means but what i'm seeing on facebook and other sale uh type groups everyone's selling their equipment everyone's selling their skids their trailer builds and it's insane there's they're selling it at twenty thousand dollars what the hell did they pay for it and it's not nothing too extravagant now let me show you something now this isn't this is my rig this isn't what i started out with this isn't the most nicest thing in the world but it is pretty darn nice to me but let me show you something i have a 12 volt uh roof pump that's five and a half gallons per minute that i do all my roof jobs with it costed me probably a hundred and thirty hundred and yeah, hundred and thirty dollars for the pump. Alright. You figure your your electrical, your on off switch, twenty dollars. Um, and then you need hose, and that's where stuff starts getting a little expensive. So you're figuring a hose two fifty, a reel, you want to spend five hundred on a reel, that's seven fifty. All right, you're you're talking less than a thousand dollars, and that's being generous for a 12 volt, fully functional 12 volt watt roof cleaning system. My pressure washer, again, nothing to write home about, but it's eight gallons a minute. This engine, I don't even know what it costs. I think it's eight nine hundred dollars. You could get uh, you could get the one at uh russ johnson or Lori smith the fully built honda this is harbor freight this is a joke by the way um uh, three four grand okay so you're talking five grand tanks you shouldn't be spending more than five grand just on equipment you get a trailer a couple thousand ten grand max you're in the game with a nice setup people are out here seriously spending 40 30 upwards even more fifty thousand dollars to start pressure washing and roof cleaning and i'm not saying that that's not the way to go you know I, that's not how i did it this is not what i started with i started with it even cheaper than that i spent a thousand dollars on a pressure washer i spent uh uh i don't know i probably spent a couple grand and i was started out of a pickup truck all right so i don't want to say you have to start slow but don't be spending that much money if you don't have the leads. If you have the leads and you have a good website and you have an ad campaign and you have, you know, SEO rolling out the wazoo and you get the work to complete the jobs, to get the money, yeah, you can spend that much money. But if you go on Facebook right now, you literally see everyone selling their rigs and they're talking they want $20,000 for two 12-volt pumps and freaking tanks, man. That's insane. Oh man, you know, I haven't been really around posting much on Facebook and um on uh the the forums and all that. It's just because I get so aggravated, man. Everybody wants to make money and I get that. Okay, start a business. But then what happens is they realize they can't wash and they're not making money washing and then they're selling equipment. It's like it's insane, man. There's too many people selling equipment right now, and you should not be spending that much money to start pressure washing, especially if you don't have leads coming in. So, if you want to spend 10k, fine. That's that's pro. You can get a, a decent rig, but like you're talking five thousand, ten thousand max to start pressure washing with a decent setup. I'm not talking about like chucking a truck. I'm talking about a decent setup. All right. Don't be spending thirty, forty thousand dollars on equipment if you're just starting out. Unless you have like a serious business plan and you have investors and you have multiple trucks and 
and you have uh, a great web page SEO and, and a team back behind that you know like I I finally got a, a good team on my SEO and web page and I'm happy with them but not everyone has that starting out so I don't know I just get frustrated by that I want to share uh, the industry it's kind of you know with the recession you're seeing like people's true colors come out and uh i don't know it's just sad to see somebody trying to sell a rig for twenty thousand dollars that you could build for five and god only knows what they paid for it god only knows so yeah if you're starting out look if you got if you're starting out and you don't have the leads coming in start slow get an eight gallon printer machine i i you know spend three four grand on that spend you know a thousand or on your roof cleaning rig you know get some get a 275 gallon tote tank that costs fifty dollars okay that's what it costs you go on marketplace you find those those ibc tanks i think they're called fifty dollars and then get yourself a 55 gallon drum for your sh chlorine tank and you're in the game man you're in the game. You can spend a couple hundred dollars on each reel or whatever. You get a pressure reel and you get a soft wash reel. You don't even need a garden hose reel. You know, people spending all this money on, oh, I need the one inch uh, in, in, uh, internals for my garden. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because I'll tell you what, you go to a house with low water pressure and it doesn't matter if you have a 50 foot or a 50 inch internal uh, line to your buffer tank. If that will, if that house ain't putting out liquid, it ain't putting out liquid. And I, you could fill up a, a IC IBC tote of 275 gallons on a, in a half inch hose. If it's got good pressure, you're filling up fast. Don't worry about the one inch internals and all that crap, man. It, it, it comes into play when you're down the line and, and you know, you have the money and you have the leads yet. Yeah, go ahead, treat yourself with nice equipment. Everybody wants nice equipment. But yeah, anyway, rant over, uh, you know, I haven't been on as much lately and I just been seeing this and I just, you know, wanted to maybe help someone out. Peace.